Hey guys, what is going on? It is Justin Masson from Nintendo Dads, and we are here with another Let's Play. And this time it is Mile, Miles and Kilo coming to the Nintendo Switch on July 5th. Uh, big thanks to the developers Four Horses uh, for providing us a, uh, a copy of this. We really appreciate it. So let's jump right into it. Uh, first off the hop, taking a look at that, uh, kind of looks a little bit like a Mario over, like Super Mario World overview, which is great. A little bit of a 16-bit graphic style, which is great as well. Miles is our our, our character here with a flat cap. Um, and so he's talking to his dog, I assume, who's Kylo. It's very cool. <clears throat> Starting to establish a little bit of our, of our scenario here of what's going on. Uh-oh. Looks like we got struck by lightning. This is the opposite of fun. Nice. Some well, uh, <clears throat> well done written script already. We've crashed on an island. All right. <laughs> Again, it's just emojis. Okay, look at that. Five different monsters. So I assume those are, or six different monsters. I assume those will probably be our villains at some point. We're gonna have to beat or meet. Um, all right. And off we go. There we go. Um, so this is, uh, <laughs> I always laugh, this level kind of a little bit reminds me of the first level of Super Mario. Great job here setting up the tutorial. Um, so this is not an endless runner. Uh, I think, you know, if you're looking at it, it could very easily say, oh, this does look like just a, just a quick endless runner. Um, but no, there are actual actions you have to do here. Now, this is interesting. When you become click with key, um, Kilo, it actually does become a automatic runner. So all I need to do at this point is to, as it's showing here, hit the actual Y button to dash across. So easy control and Y to finish the level. So quick tutorial of the level. So kind of two parts. There's Miles controls um, and then there's Kilo's controls. And Miles here we're seeing World 1-1. I'm in control here. I'm jumping when I want to, throwing when I want to, uh, any kind of fruit or anything. Oh. So this is a little bit more platformer based. Um, we're seeing obviously jumping off some enemies there, collecting some coins. Uh, very reminiscent of, of Mario, actually. Of course, it was the platform design there uh, is very Mario-esque, uh, definitely. Um, and then we're kind of jumping through here, finishing off the level, race against the clocks. So we have some goals here. Um, target was 26 seconds. I did under 26 seconds. Uh, pieces of fruit, bad guys. We move on to our next level. So very easily. Um, now I will say, uh, as we go through it, that it reminds me at times um, of Super Meat Boy um, or Celeste or that kind of <clears throat> precision-based game. Here we go. I've died. Now here I am very quickly back into the game, right? Like so. There's a there there's a kind of an element or characteristic of those kind of games. You die, you're back in very quickly uh, and start playing. So here we go. Jumped back in. Now I think in, in some of those other games it is it is the you know automatic runner and you have to be very precise. In this case it is not here. I do have control of it, uh, but kind of that quick respawn I think is fantastic. Levels are short as you saw before at 26 seconds to complete. It has some quick goals, some easy replay value as well. And we're finishing off this level as well. How did I score? I had to do in 30 seconds. I had 30.1. Uh, I've got a B ranking. Uh, so there we go. Moving on to our next level. It actually reminds me a little bit of. Um, Adventure Island on the NES, just kind of the the world uh, scape and the the ocean, um, the graphics. I don't know if anyone played Adventure Island on the uh, on the old NES, but it reminds me of that in some ways. A ton of fun though so far. Uh, controls really really well. It's uh, tight, like it doesn't feel like I'm out of control. Or, you know, if I died there as I did, um, that's my own fault. Isn't that I'm not being punished by the game's poor design? Um, but yeah, it's it's really really actually a lot of fun. Um, Again, I love the fact that it's, you know, the levels are short, you know, 25 seconds, there's replay value to go back. Um, this is my second or third recording of the game, so I've gotten a little bit better um, for the actual actual recording, but, uh, you know, if you don't get that goal of, you know, it's 30 seconds to try and beat, and you're getting 32 seconds, you're like, oh, I can cut off two seconds, I can definitely do that. Uh, so it's gotten you kind of driving back to, to do it as well, and you're getting better every single time you are you're dying, right? You're learning a little bit more about the level of how to do it. Uh, like, again, any of those games like Celeste or, or Meat Boy or Super Meat Boy, or even Lightfall that recently came out, um, it has that uh, that learning method. Uh, and you don't feel too frustrated, right? Again, the level's being nice and short. So, um, 
you know, great sound design too. Uh, you know, graphics are really enjoyable, right? Simple 16-bit graphics, but it's perfect for, for what they're trying to accomplish here. And um, yeah, no, I, I really, I really like this game actually. This was not really on my radar. Um, and then over the last several weeks, I've heard more people talk about it, and then we got in touch with the PR company, and um, and we're able to to get a review code for it. So this is this is great. I like it actually a lot. Um, it's coming out July fifth. It's a Nintendo Switch eShop. Um, definitely should not be missed. Like this is a great game. I uh, and, and again, I think if you're trying to think about getting your kids into you know kind of um, precision based platformers or automatic runner games, um, I think this is a really good entry point as opposed to maybe something like Meat Boy or Celeste that might feel too daunting and a little bit uh, a little bit too difficult. How do we do here? So it's under the 31 second goal. I got an A ranking. Cool, awesome. Uh, so that's that's playing as Miles. Um, we're gonna move to our next level here. And this one you actually play as as uh, as Kilo, and this is the automatic runner. Uh, so the moment you grab Kilo, it automatically starts for you. You need to control the jump, you need to control the, the, the shooting button, or or kind of dash as we're doing here to kill the enemies. So there is no stopping on this one. You have to be a little bit more precise. So I love that kind of swap between, you know. Um, platformer to automatic runner or endless runner, whatever you want to call it. Um, and there we go, finish level. On a rampage, y'all. Uh, oh, just short of the target, A. Eh? So there we go. Um, so I think that's a really cool um, kind of flip of the script in how that works. Uh, I think it's really cool. And this is now, so obviously we're seeing uh, Kilo right at the beginning of the level indicates again that it is an endless runner level first or an automatic running level. So we'll, uh, we'll get moving here. There we go. We got this nice kind of like uh, roll dash and this uh, kind of uh, move that helps us get those kind of coins, and then this kind of dash move, oh, hello, up, down, there we go, um, is fantastic as well. Actually, kill our enemies. Had we had we get on, perfect. All right, I like that. Uh, twenty eight seconds, and I hit twenty eight seconds on the dot, which is perfect. Cool. Um, we got some points for that. Nice. All right, we're doing all right. Um, yeah, so I really enjoy this. Like, this is this is absolutely a fantastic game. Uh, it is available to pre-order uh, in the eShop right now. You want to you watch a, a really tough level? <laughs> watch me fail at this one, I guarantee you. Um, there we go. Um, there we go, okay. But yeah, it is available in the eShop right now to, to pre-order. Um, and I'd recommend it. Like, I'm having a lot, of, a lot of fun with this. It's, again, it's an easy pick-up-and-play game. Um, I think... You know, you can easily um, work with your kids uh, to play this game together. Um, now, there is no two-player option that I've discovered here. I don't think there is at all. Nothing would indicate that. Um, but, of course, you can swap the controller. Right here you go. Again, you have endless lives. So, you know, if you're talking about learning your first kind of set of precision-based platformer games, um, and this is a great example of, of very friendly and accessible to kids. Um, and you can pass the controller when you're having difficulty. So I think that's a, that's a fantastic... Um, entry point into a, a game of this um, kind of genre. Um, again, the the content, um, you know, there's nothing there that, from a content perspective, would have me questioning as a parent. Um, yeah, and, and I, again, this it feels very feels very Super Nintendo, um, you know, Adventure Island NES um, style of a game, which is fantastic. Yeah, I, I love it actually. This is really cool. Um, yeah, it's really well done. Again, it's on the Nintendo shop, Nintendo Switch eShop. Comes up July fifth. You can pre-order right now. And if I remember correctly, if you pre-order, pre-order, you get another game for bonus. This is their second game in the series. Uh, I can't remember what the other game is, so I apologize. And I could be completely wrong, but I was on their Twitter account, and I remember this seeing that. So that was uh, definitely, definitely, definitely well worth the time for sure. Okay, so I think what I have to do is I have to. Uh, I need to not jump in front of that fish when he's... I'm dying here a lot. Uh, but I need to not jump in front of that fish. I need to kind of just keep moving forward. So let's see here. Got the monkey. That monkey always bothers me too. I think the monkey's always... I think the monkey's out to get me. There we go. Don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, no. Okay, jump. Jump. Oh. Of course. Of course, once I figured it out, I died right there. Let's do it again. But again, I mean, here's a great example where I've died several times, but I'm jumping in very quickly. It's not, you know, it's not creating a long load screen. Dead, back in, right? Um, 
It's not creating a long load screen that makes me want to stop playing. It's not becoming that frustrating. And I think games like this have to have you back in it very quickly. It cannot have that, uh, oh, you've only got four lives left. It's just you, you go until you get it done, um, which is fantastic. I really enjoy that. I don't know why. Like, I know I don't have to jump there, but I jump. Um, which, which, makes the accessibility fan, which makes the accessibility fantastic. And then, of course, having these kind of goals within it, right? Like, can you finish the game the level with all five fruit? Can you uh, kill all the bad guys? Can you collect all the coins? Right? These, these additional layers within the game make the replay value exponentially more. Um, and, and I think that's, that's absolutely fantastic. I'm really impressed with this game. Jump, jump, jump. <gasps> did I do it? Did I do it? No, I did not. Son of a... Ah, so close. So close. My hands are sweaty. I'll tell you that right now. My hands are sweaty playing this. Uh, but it's good. I mean, that's the kind of game you want. Ah, stupid monkey. Stupid monkey. Okay, come on. Come on. The worst part when you get like so far into a level like this and you feel like you've oh, that you've got it and you're like you're focused on that one thing you need to solve at the very end to pass the level, you're letting all the other things in front of you now cause error, right? That stupid monkey again. There we go. I hate you, monkey. I hate you so much. There we go. Okay. 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 I'm out of fruit though. Now, so, so if we notice that fruit is. You only have a limited number of fruit, which is why collecting the fruit is so important. You have you have five slots, but you can run out of it. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha Showed you. 29 seconds is a goal. There we go. Oh, I got an A. There we go. I like that. 14 deaths there. Yikes. 14 deaths. We'll play this last one. Oh, look at this. Uh, so we're in, obviously, as Kylo, uh, chasing a cat. So let's see what happens here. We'll do this last level, and then we'll finish it off. I don't want to ruin the game for you. You guys got to go play it yourselves, right? You got to enjoy it yourself. So let's see. World 1-7, again, whereas Kylo, so it's an automatic, uh, oh, I died there, okay, and uh, an automatic runner. Uh, this is a boss fight, apparently, as we can see the cat, uh, it says boss hunter, so keeping up, the cat gets scared by mice, it appears, and then we are able to catch up to it and bark at it, or bite it, one of the two things. Um, there we go, there's three hits, as most bosses are, and uh, per Pursuer of Cats. There we go, got an A for that as well, which is awesome. 15.7 seconds under the target with 18 seconds. Miles, that little thief uh, had our plane yoke. Good eye, Kilo. Nice, okay. We're still missing a bunch of pieces of the plane. All right, well, apparently we need to go find the rest of those plane pieces. That's, of course, our objective here in Miles and Kilo. Um, we're going to be finishing off a little bit here, here in a quick second, guys. Thank you so much to Four, Four Horses and the entire team, developer team and publishing team over at Miles and Kilo for sending this over to us. It's out July 5th on the Nintendo Switch eShop. I'd highly recommend it. It is so much fun. Uh, it is awesome. Yeah, you just should do it. It's awesome. And guys, thanks for watching Nintendo Dads. Bye-bye.